Hey, it's Jen Schachter with Tested.com. I also work with Adam over at The Cave. And my favorite things this year are all uh, tools for attaching things together that I learned about while working with Adam this year. The first tool that I want to talk about uh, is something that we use on the set of Savage Builds earlier this year. So we built a titanium Iron Man suit, a full suit of armor made out of 3D printed titanium. And in order to attach all of the pieces together, uh, we used rivets through these uh, holes. And one of the tools that I learned about is this really nifty little set of pliers called Clico pliers. Um, really unassuming little tool. I uh, never heard of them before, but they're used for sort of pinning together riveting assemblies before you actually rivet them. So if you can imagine this whole curled, you know, metal suit of armor, there's lots of different joints and uh, sort of overlaps and ways that the thing cannot be in perfect orientation. So what the Clico pliers allow you to do is sort of pin together um, your rivet joints. And the Clicos themselves are these little, um, I don't know, these little nodes. And basically when you apply pressure with the Clico pliers, they pull and uh, a little section comes out that punctures through your hole um, and expands on the other side the same way that a rivet would. So I've actually set up this little assembly here so that I can demonstrate. And we attached Iron Man together using uh, some aluminum tabs on the back. And if I have, have my rivet, it'll fit right through that hole. So I'm gonna attach one Clico in place. So the rivet goes through here like this. Oh, so nice. And that's so much easier to do with the Clico holding it in place. Um, there's also some really nifty little, little clamps. So the Clico plier actuates this little pincer and I can hold assemblies in place temporarily. It's kind of like using pins if you're sewing. So I can hold sections together um, and make my assembly much easier. Uh, it's used a lot for aircraft, um, building huge sheet metal assemblies. Also the hashtag Clico on Instagram, oddly satisfying if you're interested in checking that out. Super intense lines of Clicos set up um, on aircraft and cars. Very, very nifty little tool. So the second tool is this little finish nailer. This is a 23 gauge pin nailer uh, made by Senko. And we sometimes call it a mosquito nailer in the shop because the nails are almost invisible. Once you um, fire it into your piece, the head of the nail uh, basically is non-existent. So it buries into the wood and you almost can't see it at all. So I'll do a lot of assemblies uh, that don't require a lot of structural support, just sort of finishing. Um, and lay up a piece like this, apply some glue, and then pew, pew, pew. So that's a super convenient tool. This is sort of my secret weapon for assemblies. Um, as long as it doesn't need any major structure with screws, I pretty much glue up and nail with this uh, 23 gauge nailer for all of the builds. The last of my favorite things is a very simple tool. I've definitely used two-part epoxy before, but I'd never encountered this until I saw it in the shop at Adams. Uh, this is a 3M epoxy gun, and it basically just loads your two-part epoxy into the top here. You clamp that down, and then there's a little applicator tip that you can attach to the front. And what's awesome about this is it has a pre-mixing uh, system. Basically, there's a coil that goes through here, and when you pull the trigger, both parts of the epoxy mix in the tip of the applicator. So once I pull the trigger, you'll see that both part A and part B are mixing inside of the applicator tip in a perfect ratio and they come out of this really fine needle tip here. So I can get a nice small dab of epoxy exactly where I want it. And when I'm all finished, cleanup is as simple as unloading the tip and putting, maybe clean off the nozzle and put the cap back on. But it does all of the mixing work for you and it's really easy to apply uh, in a very precise area. So those are three things that I've learned about just working for Adam in the shop this year, uh, and they all happen to be ways to attach things together. So uh, yeah, stick together. Happy New Year. Uh, thanks again.